Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I thought I'd rattle you out a review on the Daggerfish Magnetic Fly Wallet. So that's this puppy here. So Daggerfish is a uh, little company in America. There's his website. They uh, make a range of gear and they started off making hobo reels from some great timbers. <clears throat> so at a, uh, between 90 and 100 grams you can go fishing so if you're a hiker, ultra lighter, and you just want to have a go, brilliant piece of kit. Limited a little bit in their storage capacity, but that's the, the portability is what you get. So if you want to step up and carry a bit more tackle, you're going to need some way of doing it. So basically, uh, your choices are sort of a plastic box, and the only problem with that is the noise. So... <clears throat> Came in a box, one of his stickers, little cards, Alan, and there's his website. So we'll get you the specifications out first. So it's a leather fly wall, is what it is. 183 uh, grams of my scales. Now this is a utility grade model, which didn't quite make his grade of fit and finish, but was much cheaper. Closed, it's about 40 mil thick without any gear in there. It's 142 mils wide, 115 high, and when she's fully open, it's about 320. So, <clears throat> the sheepskin pad for your tackle is 110 wide by 70 mil tall. Has a four-way closure on the belt loop, so it can go under backpack straps or belts. This gap here is about 42 mil, so it fits most of my belts but not my really wide ones, which I tend to use on bushcrafting because I have a lot of crap hanging off my belt. Now, there's a neodymium magnet here, and believe me, it's got some bite on it here. Yeah? Now, it's got a pocket for extra gear. Now, the pocket is tapered. So I was having a, uh, a quick look at my tackle boxes, and that's not a goer because it won't close so that's out about as big as you can go is one of these really slim trout magnet boxes so that is a just just with a push so you won't be getting any huge tackle boxes in there so it looks the bomb, it really does. <coughs> I'll uh, tweak this for my own use and uh, I'll load it up with the, a range of tackle that will complement any of my Hobart rules, which there is a few in the collection. <coughs> what I did notice, <coughs> this one almost fits in the back pocket. It's so close. Yeah, I could just trim those corners a little bit and uh, that Merc wears one would fit. So guys, if you want to see me load this out with some tackle to complement some streamside homo fishing, hang in there, that's what's coming up. Well guys, this is a, uh, a bit of a trap. If you're going to wear this on your belt and you're going to do compass work, you're going to have to figure something else out because as the compass is pointing true north, So, if you put this on your right hip and you're right-handed, that very powerful magnet is going to give you some grief. I've tried it on the uh, top of my pack on the left-hand side, and it seems to be just out of range. So there's the, the distance there. So beware if your compass working with that. Now on the plus side of the magnet, it really does do a good job of I'm holding my hemostat, which I use for pulling out uh, small fish hooks. So I've got this on a lanyard, so just big enough to get my hand in there. Really handy bit of kit. So, this is the, the tackle loadout I've decided on. Basically I've got uh, three small spoons. I've got a, a rebel crawfish. Now I've changed the hooks on all of my lures to singles. They are barb singles. And they're, they're not coming out easy, so to do less damage to the fish. So 
uh, basically you've got three types of uh, I suppose mineral lures. One's a grasshopper, brown trout fine. Now with hobo reels it's very difficult to work spinners like salters now you just don't get the line speed. So those three be a good combo. I've got a bunch of uh, wet and dry flies. Now to be able to fish to wet and dry flies you're going to need a bubble like this. This is an adjuster bubble. This is this US brand here. So basically they have a plastic tube running through the middle rather, <coughs> that grips onto the line and you can add water to them to get additional weight so that you can cast one of these. So that allows you to fish wet or dry flies. Now I've got these trout magnet jigs, I think they're really great. Yeah, they're fished under a, a small float, the floats are dead cheap, jigs are dead cheap. <clears throat> so I've got five heads there with tails. So I've got this little tiny box, which I intend to pack tight full for obvious reasons. Bunch of trout magnet tails in there. On this side I've got uh, removable split shot. More of the small ones, the less of the big ones. Because you can always put two split shot on, but you can't make them lighter. So with the hemostats, I can take them on and remove them to move them. I've got uh, good quality hooks. So with hook, hooks and lines, you're fishing. Without hooks and lines, you're not fishing. So I've got these mosquito hooks. They're not cheap. And super sharp. So you don't have, with hobo reels, the advantage of a seven foot rod in your hand to get that leverage to set the hooks. So the best quality. I've also got them in, in circle hook patterns, which seem to do a lot less damage to the fish. They seem to get, get them in the corner of the mouth much more than conventional J hooks. So I need to buy a few more. So this is sort of the, the sweet spot in tackle boxes. I've tried to fit an Altoids tin in there, it doesn't fit. So that'll be in, hemostats will be in. Now if you want to keep a knife in the kit, like the Swiss Army knives, about a two layer is about as far as you can go. Any thicker than that, box one close. So you can pop that in there. That'll close. If you've got the A-Lox types, you could push your way to a three layer. Probably keep it on the top. That'll close. There's actually a lot to be said about these uh, little two layer compacts. So that in, that in, and there's a neighbor's beat some of the death. Hemostats in. And there's that kit there. So at the moment I intend this to live on the outside of my little uh, Frost River uh, in your backpack and that way uh, it'll be a grab and go solution as a part of the whole pack build is going to be so guys if you like the content I create and it helps you out don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time